One second. We are working on a Dell G5. It doesn't power on. Being dropped. The crack there. The crack isn't an issue. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open the machine up. So what you have to do is turn it around. You have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten screws to open the machine. So I'm going to start off from the left. We've got a box to pop the screws into. We're going to put them in each section where they need to go. We're going to clip out from here. We're going to use this little plastic tool to go through. Clip it out. Turn it around. It's best off to stand them up. It's an easier way of opening them. I'm just going to turn it around again. Make sure you be careful when disconnecting the cable that it does not get damaged. Let's disconnect that. That's off there. Put to a side. You disconnect the battery from here. Memory is there. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put this back on. Push that out, that's out. I'm gonna close it there. We're not gonna fully put on the case. Put the case there, I'm gonna turn it around so we can get the charger in. I'm gonna open the machine. So now we're gonna put the charger in. And get it up there. There you go. Just gonna turn this on to see what it does now. If it turns on, we're putting the battery back on. If not, we're buying a new battery. If not, it's something else. We need to see the solution for that. Right, it's just started up. It's gone back off. We're going to switch it back on. The machine's taking its time. We're just waiting and seeing what it's going to do. It's gone off. Switch it back on. Right, the machine's turned on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to Time and date set set up in valid configuration and please run the setup. So what we're going to do now is switch it off and then turn it back around and put the battery on. This is uh, switching it off, taking it off. Yeah. So we've turned it, we've turned it around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the battery back on and that just pushes in there. Make sure it's slotted in right. Make sure that isn't moving. That's got a proper slot slotted in. Now we're going to connect all this back on. We're not going to screw it in until we've properly tested it. So now I'm going to put the charger back on to see if it works. Let's see if it's charging. So it's charging. Now we need to switch on and see what it does next. Right, it's powering on now. So we know the battery was the issue. Um, the rest of the BIOS and setups will do that later. 